time is money on the table. I tried to show you how to fish, but you ain't want the fame. Nah, he let the pride get the best of him. Jealousy, you turn to envy, that's a recipe. I've had my share of beefing with people worthy. You know what I'm saying? But don't like it because they both beautiful, beautiful I need it, chop, chop, doggy vice. You should get to know me. I know you where to cut you out. We can play Shinobi. They say it's a recession that we live in. That's what they say. So I don't play about my dividends. A lot of responsibility. I don't want to take it just there, but I'm, I'm saying, what a beautiful time to be alive. You got inspirations. You got role models. Uh, don't like what's going on with Rick Ross and DJ Envy. Don't like it. Um, I love them both. Beautiful men, uh, in their own right, successful, do they think. I don't like where it's going. I know I've been in my I've had my share of beefing with people worthy. You know what I'm saying? But don't like it because they both beautiful, beautiful people. Um, and so God is great all the time, you know. Two days ago, I was coming out of the diner. I seen a woman digging in the garbage. And, uh, you know, that's it. You know, that that's it. You know, when you see someone digging through the garbage to find something to eat, that's the epitome, right? And so I tell you, if someone's homeless, somebody's, you know, looking like they get high, I just can't give them my money. But... When you see the woman trying to find something to eat, so I get out. And I tell the lady, yo, here you go. It was only $10, right? I didn't want to insult her or nothing. You know, I was like, yo, here you go. And she was like, I can't take it. I got, I'm, I'm bad luck. And I was like, you bad luck? I was like, listen, miss, you digging through the garbage. Here's some money. Buy yourself a little sandwich or something. Whatever it is, you know. You know, get you something, something to eat. And she started to explain to me that she got bad luck, that nothing happens, that this and this and that. And so I tell a woman, I try to tell her sometimes people got to go through a lot. God puts you through a test of faith to go through a lot. And those are the guys that got to prove their loyalty to God and they'll get Rewarded in the long run. And so the woman tells me something I've never been told in my life. She said, I don't believe in God. Now, here I am in a nice car, belly full of food, just ate whatever I wanted, successful, got a family. And so I can understand the discrepancy. I could understand she's rock bottom, nothing, this, this, that. And we still can't understand what it is for this woman to live in the street. And so I said, miss, I can't tell you nothing but stay focused. Try to find God because I promise you life is going to change for you. And I start telling her how, you know, I was almost murdered 30, 40 times. Yo, Clark Kent, what's up, my brother? I was almost murdered 30, 40 times. A lot of times I deserved it. And by the grace of God, the man saved me. And I know it's hard for her to understand that. But I get in the car, the phone rings, it's my mother on time. So I'm talking to my moms and I tell my moms the situation. I said, man, I met a woman. She said she don't believe in God. And my mom said, young Putin, what's up? My mom said, yo, stay away from that lady. She not with us. And I said, Ma, what do you mean? She said, she not with us. You know, we, we with God. And so that never had happened to me before when somebody told me they didn't believe it. But all I could do is uh, spread the word and let her know that somebody loves her even though she thinks she's bad luck or whatever the case may be. Five mics was good, brother. And so I just felt like rejoicing, man, and telling God 
how much I love God. And, and this weekend, the devil was in, the fix was in. It started raining last week, was all beautiful. The day I got a flop, you already know I'm terrified to flop. The day I got a flop, shit raining, thunderstorms, this, that, delayed five hours. I'm in Newark Airport, chopping it up with the people. And that finally hit me and realized when I get on the plane, headed to Dallas is, the reason they don't let you fly is because it's crazy up there. And so we over there arguing, yo, why this is taking so long? Yo, why is it delay? And once you go up and that roller coaster start, cause you know, I'm terrified to fly. And I'm up in it. This was a whole three and a half hours like this. Sometimes it's bad weather in the area. Sometimes it's like this the whole time. And I don't know if it was just the nerves. There was a couple in front of me. This lady was violating her husband. Now they had a lot to drink. That is definitely part of the factor. They was drinking one after the other. I could understand the plane was doing all this. But she was violating them, telling them shit extra loud so the whole first class can hear this, this, that. When we got off the plane, Rich Player went up to the men and said, you're an angel, you're going to heaven. And sometimes your wife get drunk or maybe the man get drunk and they just start doing too much and talking some crazy. She was wilding. Like, I'm mad for the guy. She violated. She violated, bitch. She violated. I would have put her head through the fucking wall. Yo, relax, relax, nah, relax. No violence, shit. no domestic violence. Shit. Stop. Stay in the light. But the woman was violating the man in front of everybody and was saying shit to hear. Your thing is little. Your this, this, that. I'm done. I think I'm done. Like, I'm like, yo, I'm sitting there. I'm like, yo, this is, a, this is great. Vice versa. Man, female, I don't think nobody. Raymo, what's up? Chubby Chubb, what's up? I don't think nobody should do nothing like that. Rich is like, yo, up, <laughs> yo, I said, yo, Rich, he said that too. In front of her, I said, yo, you got to calm down. You got to relax. Because, you know, look, man, it ain't nobody's business. Don't try to embarrass your loved one in front of everybody and talk all type of disrespectful shit in front of everybody. It's not... A good thing. Now, first of all, you can't believe everything you hear. Raul T.S., you can't believe everything you hear. And then when you hear it, when you hear this bonching chair, whatever it is, you got to see who's telling the story. You know, a lot of times as an ex-employee, disgruntled employee, you know, some of these ex-employees go shoot up the post office. People are crazy with, when they're not part of the, the vibes. These people go crazy. Seen the guy shot the whole bank up because he got fired last month. So you got to see who's talking this nonsense, right? An ex-wife, she hates the dude to death, so she's throwing extra shit on him. So you got to... Really, really be mindful because their version of things is always tainted. It's always ugly, you know. And you know, you know it's bad when it's show, right? You know it's bad when it's show. It's real bad when it's show because people are ugly inside ugly thoughts, but when they show it, it, it's real bad, right? And so I like to look at things when people talk about other people or whatever the case may be. I just be like, you know, especially if it's a, a YouTube or a podcast or whatever. You know, nowadays, you know, the YouTube done turned into cyber panhandling. Hit the like, donate a dollar, if you like me, give me some, it's crazy. <laughs> it's really out of control. And so everybody uh, got an opinion on something and then it's never the successful people, right? Have you ever seen successful people talk about successful people? 
Successful people don't got enough time. You know, my brother Ferris is here for the lynch mob. He did 20 something years in Harlem. And I seen him put up, he said, yo, real niggas don't care about whatever niggas cake. Cause you too busy trying to do yo. You know, this lifetime is so small. And you want to enjoy every single minute of the day. Then imagine if you had time to really think about somebody who ain't doing their thing. Talking about you. Or talking about... That means so little to me. So nothing. It's, what a time to be alive. And so the devil throws all type of things at you. But we do not care. We stay focused. We stay on our grind. It's such a beautiful, blessed day out here, man. Uh, shout out the power to the patients. We just need to know the prices when we walk in the hospital. Let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Ferris, what's up, my brother? Fat First man. of all, let's just go there with it, right? What a beautiful day, beautiful time to be alive. When I was growing up, we had no mentors. We had no one to really look up to other than the hustlers, the number man, whatever. Jay-Z and his wife just purchased a $200 million house. What does that matter to you? Here comes a young man coming out the projects, Marcy Projects in Brooklyn, to actually owning a $200 million house. It's telling the youth that you can make it, that you can become something, that you can start from nowhere if you stay in the light and be successful. And so, shout out to B Dot in the building, five mics. And so what I'm saying to you is, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. And so, Things of that nature let you know things are possible. Because the kids, you know, I get thinking about John Morant. And I really thought about it in great detail because uh, I thought about he's young. How young, when I was young, I was really uh, ignorant on another level. I was really, really not mature. So I think that's the point. Maturity level. You know, when you when you get to a certain age, then you start to think different. You know, we five grown men, I'm in the sprinter the other day in Dallas, and we talking about uh we talking about John Moran things and all of us said, yo, when we was young, we was ignorant, we was crazy, we was wild. We could never Hey, look, 25A, we didn't know it was a day off. They want to gas the ball, but this the engine that you ate off. Lurking here, your worker, perfect to get him laid off. And we ain't just break down them doors, we ripped the gate off. Put the money in the bag, he's stalling. I've been very patient. You see the duffel half sit. Gary Payton's up and down in the turf, strategic, I'm talking, run and shoot. Team of Elma Fuzz on the block, they stay in hunting boot streets. I need a chop, chop, yagi vice, you should get to know me. I know me when to cut you out, we can play Shinobi. They say it's a recession that we live in.